Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the More Freedom Railroad. Hey, we're jumping back in here to Railroader, and I just want to say thank you to a helpful comment about making them an MU unit. So what that means is one of these is going to be the one that controls everything. So what I've done right now is I've made uh, MFR1, which is our 10-wheeler, the MU unit. So when you come over here, this let me go through the process real fast. I hit the R button, it brings up our engine roster, and we got both of our engines here, and I hit this first button, which is inspect, and then under car, there is cutout and MU. So, I don't know what the cutout does. Okay, we want the cutout and the MU, and so that's what we, I, I checked the MU, it checked both the cutout. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use MFR2 as our main engine. And we're going to take these logs, hopefully, to the uh, hopefully to the log place. We're going to go we're going to go be lo we're going to go log in. We're going to log it up. Let's say does it show me I was looking to see if it shows me out the window, but it doesn't. Okay, so what so what we're going to do? Let's get our train brake turned off. Uh, let's get the also new UI, so that is awesome. It looks great. I know there's some other changes. Oh yeah, the chuffing. The chuffing is supposed to be better. I just want to check out number one while we're it's, while we're doing this, okay? Definitely gets up to speed faster, and hopefully I set that correctly because I didn't look. Um, uh, while I'm thinking of it, let's go set the points up here correctly. Again, I know there's a way to jump on the map. I need to figure out what that is. And then that way I don't have to do that. Okay, so this needs to be switched. This switch needs to be switched. And this switch needs to be switched. And let's get back to... Oh, that definitely sounds better. Watch our throttle here. Our speed should only be 30. Oh no, we've uh, derailed. Yeah, that's why I was like, our speed should only be 30. Well, there we go, folks. There we go. I think it is. Is it shift? Oh. Um, that's what happens when, uh, you get going too fast. Okay, that one's good. I wish they would change the, so it uses all of your... You don't have to right click and hold the mouse. That's the only thing I think I don't like about this game is that you have to right click and hold the mouse to do anything when you're in first person. I would love for it to be where you just have to look with the mouse and instead of having to right click with it. Okay, so now let's uh, not do all of that. Let's 
let's not crash our engine. I've derailed once before. It is not the first time. You just didn't have the pleasure of seeing me derail because it was in a, a cut that I did. But there you go. First uh, recorded, recorded derailing. Well, uh, also, uh, yeah, I got up to fa I got up to speed a lot faster than what I thought I would do. percent throttle is actually pretty good all right well I'm gonna drive these trains over to where they need to be and we'll be back in just a minute all right we're pulling up to the sawmill now and we have three options for tracks for the sawmill and I'm wondering if these cars just need to go where they were originally, which is the track over here on our left. So if I bring up I and I go to Whittier Sawmill, that is R1. So I wonder if these will tell me, it does not tell me where they need to go. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up here. We're going to get past this switch i'm actually going to throw this one and we're going to back them into that branch line right there make sure all that's straight we definitely got some weight behind us going up to this hill i feel like Get past this switch with the last car. Got the guy hanging on the back here. Uh, we got two cars. Let's hit, start slowing her down, Mike. So it's a testing thing. Like we got to see what we have to do to get these cars to be unloaded. So we're going to try with um, putting it back where they were. and see if that does anything. And if not, we'll put them on the other the other train tracks. All right, so we want to go reverse here. Take our brakes off. And see if this is where they need to go. We got 45 four thousand five hundred eighty two dollars so if that's the case if we bring them back into here and we get cash then that's a that's how we know we need that's where we're going I guess you don't want to be impatient with um, trains. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, she's definitely rolling downhill. few more feet here <clears throat> excuse me and then we will park her up and see what happens i guess well that was are they all in here it is all in here so For day two at 2.26, have not gotten anything. I'm going to try applying a handbrake. And then pulling out. Okay, so that didn't do anything, I don't think. Three logs, three logs, three logs. I wonder if they need to be on these tracks then. Hey, we can try it. We can see if that'll, that'll do it. All right, well, let's take that off. Let's hit the reverse. Get that. All right, so we will take it up here. I'm going to flip this switch. We're going to take it past this switch, which is fine. And then we'll back it in. We'll try it over on these two. And it may just not need to be anywhere. You know what I mean? Wait over here until we get past this guy. Does look good. Trying to find a good viewing location.
few more cars here. That should do it. Keep her going. About a half a car length here. And did I hit something? I did. Well, darn it. Oh, boy. Might not be able to make it. Too many cars. Oh, are we just... Oh, man. Okay. Let's do this. Let's back up. We're going to put two cars here and see if this works. This is a learning experience. We just got to get them clear of that little spot there. Yep, keep her coming, keep her coming, keep her coming. That is good. Uh, let's play that handbrake. Get these two cars past this guy. I mean, if we only had one engine, it would have worked. Okay. Um, we'll shove the first ones in there. And let's see how deep we can go with those. SO1 and 2, it is just past those, okay. All right. That is switched. Okay, get down here. Yeah, because I don't, you know, I picked up these logs and they have 12 and maybe they just go to the interchange. Uh, we're doing the sawmill because there wasn't, it said something about sawmill later on in the tutorial, but it never really said what it, what it did. You know what I mean? So... I know, we're going to bring it down here, and if nothing else, we'll put them over there on the other track where they were, if this doesn't work. So, probably could have gone a little bit farther. And maybe there's something I have to click on on that screen. So we're still at 4582.
I don't know what two, tier two is. So maybe it's only. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. We went to Conley Creek. But it doesn't say where to take them once they're loaded. Um, reading. Oh, okay, okay, mm-hmm. So it loads at Conley Creek. Yeah, the, yeah, we did that. And the unload, there's... Huh. A way bill will be assigned once it is here... Okay, um, not sure. So what I guess we'll do is we will um, sleep until tomorrow? Question mark. So let's do that. We're actually going to go to 7 a.m., so the time is up. Uh, we'll do 8 a.m. There we go. Okay. All right, so we have... Three car, four cars here. Sawmill, sawmill, sawmill. C2. We lost reputation. So can we now... I don't know. Okay. I'm just going to do it like this. Rations. Yeah, apparently we had to wait just wait till the next day. It's fine. So, let's go get these cars and put them back, put them back where we got them cuz they'll be back on R1. Okay. Well, that answers that question. So we'll get back to the center of change, back up and grab these guys, and then put them over here on this track. And hopefully we don't hit them because I did not turn on their parking brake. 
I don't think. Get past this right up here. Keep her going. And stop. Oh no, I put the handbrake on. Keep her going, keep her going. Give me a little bit of break there. All right. And all you have to do is bring them over here. Okay. I am going to check the interchange. 1035. We're going to go over and check those other cars because I don't, I'm not sure they weren't fully loaded yet. So I don't know if they, or they weren't fully unloaded yet. So I don't know if they need to be um, brought back. So we'll check a place where we dropped off some of the train cars and then we will come back and, and or we'll go check those and see if we need to go pick those up and bring them back here. I don't know if I like that screenshot or not, but hey, we're going to I'm going to go with her. Check. Love to do one like this. Did we get them all the way in or do we need to go a little bit farther? We need to go a little bit farther here. We got one. Okay. Okay. Um, yep, we're good. All right, so now we need to run over to, let's, let's, well, first of all, let's go back here and let's go check out, um, settings. I'm going to look at preferences, input. Control T. So we do this and then Control T. Get rid of the map. So that one still doesn't need anything. Um, there's our passengers. We need to take those. 
That one's empty, and that one's not. So East Whittier Interchange. So I'm going to leave them here until that empties out. Okay, map. Let's go back down here. Control T. Um, let's go pick up those other cars. And what we're going to do is, okay, well, they need to go over here, and then we need to take our passengers. So... Let's go. We need to get on this line, and we don't. We definitely don't need our stiff that high. Uh, we need to be on this line, straight on through to the other side, and we need to pick up all of these and put them over there. All right, so we're back over here, and as you can see, I've dropped off engine one over there and undid it as the MU. Um, so we've just got engine two now, and it is coming on back here to grab these cars for the, the mill over here. And we just need to find the, there it is, at least the handbrake. Okay, so let's check our switches. This one needs to go this way. First car goes to C2. Straight, straight. Um, we're going to go straight all the way back. And then we'll come in here and yada, 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 yada. All right, well, let's get going. All of our handbrakes are off, so let's shove these down there. All right, just a little bit, a, a little bit farther. We've got to get past this switch, and then we'll head back to the left over here. We can throw her. And pull it all the way down. Okay. And then we are backing into this one to start with. I believe. Correct. Uh, 
Yep, just got to get it past this switch, and we should be good to go. And good. Um, then we need to get it over there. Okay. And put that guy right there. Yep, keep her coming, keep her coming. Off the throttle. All right. $53. And break. Uh, we'll come out the same way we did, and then we will back those two cars in over there. I don't think it matters which side they're on. They just need to be... Oh, uh, well, let's make sure. SO1, SO2. Let's make sure that that is the correct things over here. It's only three cars. I think I should be able to fit all three cars in here. Um, Sawmill. SO1, SO2. Yeah, I should be able to put all three cars in there. Okay. I think they're empty, too. So we got to get past this. This guy right here. And then we need to take our passengers. Like, we definitely need to run some passenger service. Because our uh, railroad, whatchamacallit, the, oh, do they like us value went way down. So what we're going to do after this is we're going to go pick up our passenger car and I'm actually going to throw, I'm going to grab the other engine and I'm going to throw that on passenger service. Might as well use it. And we can do something with this one. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe this one will be passenger service. I've got it. So I have to take it out of this area anyway. So... And let's throw on a handbrake. All right. So we just got 195 for that. Um, so I think we're doing okay. Let's go ahead and go get our passengers, which are that way somewhere. All right, so we made it over here to our passengers, and I went ahead and used engine number two for this. 
And I'm not sure if the... Um, what am I trying to say? I'm not sure if I can use the AI to do this. Because I haven't looked at that yet. That's what I'm... The CPU, the whatever's. Definitely goes faster in the forward direction than it does in the reverse direction. People are going to be happy to get to their destination. We still have the caboose on there. <laughs> All right. So let's, uh, I, I want to see something. So if I do AI road, Direction would be reverse. I want to see what happens. So direction would be reverse. Max speed would be 25, 20. I'm not sure what it's going to do. Let's uh, make sure all of our switches are switched before the AI gets over here and just destroys our passengers. That one's good. Uh, map. We are right there. And then let's go down to Control T. And I don't know if it's going to stop there or not, but I'm going to let this run over there and we're going to find out. Well, we made it over here to the yellow station, and it definitely is stopping. So I was just looking around in the in the controls and everything while I was waiting for us to come over here. And um, I'll show you in just a moment how it works. So on this, if we go over here to the orders, whatever screen... You can, you know, click on the train, control click on the train, and it comes up here to car equipment operations and orders. Orders are um, stop when pa station stops, stop when passing. So you can say that it all, everybody gets all, or it stops here, and then everybody exits the train, basically. So we had 47, 40, or 60 passengers, so they are exiting right now, and we will wait for, there's 38 passengers here waiting now, so what we'll do is we'll run a train from here back to um, the other station, and I, I think it's okay to just, I don't know, we can just run it as much as we want. So we can wait for it to be all 60 people on board or we can just set it at, you know, hey, when it get maybe in my head, uh, when it gets to 35 or more passengers, I send it. So it'll just be a matter of me watching it to make sure that I do that. So I got to remember how to uh, make the passengers get on and everything in just a second. Once everybody's off the off the train, come on now, come on, 
Get your bags. I know you've been sleeping on here for a day. That's fine. And maybe it's just a once an hour thing. So if when I'm playing, I'll say, okay, at the top of the hour, I send it and it gets to over here and then I send it back kind of deal. So I think it is operation passenger. We're going to say this one. And then they should be loading. Oh, maybe it's where we want to go to Whittier Station. Yeah, there we go. So learning the AI part. Uh, so I could theoretically just put it on over here. Or I could, um, what am I trying to say? If I had cargo, I could put it all on the cargo let the train pull it over here and then have it stop at the station and then come back to, uh, come, anyway, I know what I'm saying in my head. I can have the AI pull a cargo train over here. It would stop at the station and then I can do all the shunting work that I need to do to put it into the correct spot. As long as I have all the, if I set all the um, switches accordingly, I do believe. So, all 38 are on board. And what we'll do is for right now, I am going to close this out. And that is going to do it for this episode. And so we figured out where we need to put those log cars. We've got all the, all the industries are basically have all their cars. There's nothing I can do with them right now. Um, it won't give me more, stuff until I think it was 1035 was the next time that I was going to get more, more stuff, which I think is at the exchange. Yeah. So 1110 is when, um, is when the next orders come in. So that'll be in the next episode here in Railroader. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. This is a, a fantastic game. Again, if you don't have it, I, you know, I would suggest you buy it. But um, that's going to do it for this episode. It's a lot of fun. And until next time here in the More Freedom Railroad, take care. <laughs>